So I'm pleased and, on, and humbled to be speaking on behalf of the traditional custodians of this land, the Yagara people. May I thank them for their custodianship and practices that stem from oral traditions and spiritual values that have been built on a reverence of this land for more than 60,000 years. Welcome to those who have come from, from other countries across the world and made this land their home. Tonight is a very collective effort of the wider Indian community. Today, we are gathered here in solidarity with India, where a second wave has swept over the country. We are currently facing the worst situation imaginable relating to the global COVID-19 pandemic. They're not cases, they're people. Their mothers, their fathers, their brothers, their sisters, their uncles and aunties and grandparents. And for every one of those 215,000 people, there are so many others directly touched by their loss. To date, almost 20 million people in India have contracted the virus. Can you imagine? That's almost the entire population of Australia. While we have this fortunate situation here in Brisbane, there are now so many people across the world and in particular in India whose lives have been cut short. We all are vulnerable, even us. Nobody is safe. We all become vulnerable. It is only a matter of time, friends, and with help from people all over the world and the diaspora organizations that India will overcome this situation. This disease has taught us one thing, and that is that if, as humanity, we need to fight something, then it's the disease. And we don't know how long it will last, and we don't know what the impact will be, but what we must do is we must show we care. We must stay united, and we must do what we can to support each other in the local community. We must do what we can to support each other overseas. My administration and the Brisbane City Council will be making a donation of $10,000 to uh, the Red Cross Society Appeal in India to support the efforts. I know that the federal government is gearing up and I know that the state government is gearing up to support as well. We want to share the message that India, the people of Brisbane, Queensland, Australia are with you. And tonight, we light a candle for India. We light up our city hall in the colours of the Indian flag. We say, we are with you and we care. Thank you.